What's up and welcome back. Today I am joined by my good friend Wesley Barker. The great Wes Barker. And uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I was sent these boxes. These are unlock boxes. Very popular in Europe. I haven't really seen them too much around here, but I know that Antoine's played them and he's had a lot of fun, so he suggested we try one of these. These basically are a ton of little escape games that you get in the box and then you also have an app that goes along with it and then you follow along with the app and the cards and everything else and it kind of self-explanatory but very clever apparently and uh, funny and a lot of fun so we're gonna try this one out i think which one are we doing here we're oh, doing, these are all different these are all different adventures timeless adventures here you go so there's so many of them these are the tutorials welcome to unlock it's a very simple tutorial we'll introduce you to the game rules once you're done you'll be able to play all the adventures for the first adventure you are on the top floor of an office building for an interview with the unlock secret society the manager welcomes you in with a smirk so launch the app and select the tutorial do you want to do the tutorial no nope. we should <laughs> i thought you already knew how to do this i do but you don't well i'll learn off you yeah but maybe they'll want to learn let's learn together so we'll start the tutorial real quick. Uh, you have 10 minutes to get out, flip this card over. Oh, so there's like a little office here. Here's the room where you were locked in. There are several things around you. You can now search and reveal five cards uh, whose numbers you can see. So you wanna go to 42, 42 is the window. Uh, as you can see here, 42 is the window. Oh, it's a screen, sorry, a screen, there's no power. You can, com you can combine this object with a blue object. So this is a red object. So it's a red object, a red puzzle piece, and you can combine them with a blue one, which will give you, uh, which will make something happen. Uh, but if the total corresponds to a card in the deck, you can reveal that card as well. Okay. So uh, if we're looking for power, let's, maybe there's a remote here, right? So let's look at 35, a locked cabinet. You can combine this object with a blue. So this is another lock. And if the total corresponds, go to the card. Let's go to 11. A key. So I can combine this with this. Right. And that gives us 46. So we then take card okay. number 46 and it opens. Very good. The cabinet is open. Discard 11 and 35. Look closely at the picture. There are two interesting details. You see a number uh, reveal the corresponding card. 16. You see a number in there and it says 16. So this one is a blue card. And it's like a little wire, a 10 centimeter long electrical wire. It uh, looks like you can combine that with this. Boom. What does that give you? 58. 58, flip it over. There's no 58. There is no 58? Well then I guess it doesn't fit. Okay. Um, What's the other clue here? There's two interesting details. So it's this thing on the side here. I guess it's the thing on the side. Well, let's flip over 21, check the door. Uh, this is the exit door. This is a machine. So machines are green, as you can see here. So the machines are green. Uh, to use it, press the machine button in the app and enter this card number, 21. This is a code. Once you have found the four digit code in the room, you can enter it in the app. Maybe that is part of the code? Might be. All right, lastly, uh, what 11. else do we have here? 11 we've Where done, 69. Right. Ah, the grate, a grid with five centimeter pins apart. This is a machine. <laughs> to use it, press the machine button and then enter. Okay, you know what? So let's go press the machine button again. Let's enter 69. Uh, to use this machine, you must press the buttons matching to the right pins and press okay. You lose one minute per error. It is best if you first understand which are the right pins before using well, we it. We know it's those two pins, right? Yes, it's those two oh. pins and you use this wire. Right. Right? I think you just touched there and there, don't you? Yeah, I think so too. Add this number to a blue number. So we add it to... Get 20, add it to 16 to get 25. Yes. Well done, you've restored power by replacing the wire on the machine. Discard 16, 46, and 69. 16, 46, 69 are discarded. Plus six is a modifier that you can add to a red number. That gives us 48. 7239, we go back to machine. 21. 21, okay. 7239, okay. Yes. No, these are incorrect numbers. No. Oh, exit sign. Ah, the because... exit sign. Ah, the smart. exit sign are colored. So it would be, hold on, 21. It would be nine. Yeah. 
three. Seven, two. Seven, two. Okay. That's cool. Well done, you have finished your tutorial. You can now check your score and time. Fun, right? I like this. Okay. Okay, now I get it. So now that we're in, and we've learned the basics along with you at home. I'm glad I suggested the tutorial. Yeah, it was it was a much needed, but very simple yeah. nonetheless, right? So this is our template, I guess, for this next one, which is pretty cool. They give us like maybe some clues here that we can look into in a second. Time. Lost in time. Lost in the time warp. Here we go. Ready? Yep. 60 minutes. Dude, we've done 20. Let's go. 72. 72. Why not, right? What's this here? I don't know. This, you go You go there, I'll, I'll read this. The sky is still rumbling when you arrive in, hold on, when you arrive at a friend's house, the eccentric professor Alcibiades Tempest. A scientist obsessed with time in all shapes and forms, he asks you to meet him at his home so that you can experiment with his latest invention. Once there, however, you can't find him anywhere. Neighbors tell you that lightning struck his house. Flip this card over. Ooh. Launch the app, select scenario, lost in time, or press start. Now unfold the living room. Uh, Professor Alcibiades Tempest must have hidden a clue somewhere that will help you find him. Look, A and T are yellow here, by the way. Okay. So I don't know how that helps us, but there we go. So let's start flipping things over. You gotta be careful what you flip over because some things can be penalties. Okay. I got, I see 35, I got 35 here. Let's do 35. Just a matchbox <laughs> and it's a red item. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Uh, what else do we see here? Uh, we see 72. Looks like there's something stuck in the uh, mantle of the fireplace or the hearth. All right. Some of these are letters. I didn't really realize we'd have letters. I didn't either. Oh, there are letters. Oh, I see AT. You do? AT's on the clock. I don't know what that means, but AT's on the clock just. Oh, that's his initials. Yeah, but it's over here. I don't it know. is over there. I feel like a lot of time is just gonna be looking for the right things. I got it right there. <laughs> Place this card on the correct spot in the, on the current time living room above the timeline. Uh, something strange is stuck in the mantle shelf. Only a portion of it sticks out from the bricks. You can retrieve it without damaging it. So this goes here. Oh, whoa, 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 that's so cool. I didn't know that was gonna. Very cool. So, what is it, me, Hopper sticks out? Me and Ho Dash Hopper. Alcibiades Tempest is a brilliant scientist whose father, Igor, is a brilliant but ruthless banker, as were his forefathers before, as were his forefathers before him, but Alcibiades, uh, Al, uh, has decided to follow another path, which according to him will do great for humanity indeed, dot, dot, dot. The Diocin Circus is in town. Continuous attraction, Diocin in capital letters. Oh, there. what is this? What the heck? Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, we did we see that. We observed the bottom part of the clock and saw AT's thing. I mean, you must have hit a hint accidentally with your elbow. Oh, did I? Um, I see numbers uh, 58, I see three, I see five. Should we try one of those? All right, let's look for another number in the meanwhile. There's a cat outside. 35 is the matches. Oh, 58 is the uh, toxic waste. And three and five. There's three and five here. Uh, if I see it, I'll pull it out. But uh, don't don't pull out three and five. Okay. 58. This is fun. Yeah, I like this already. I found a V, I found a Q. I got 58. I have, I have no A and T. All right, 58, here we go. How odd keeping such things at home. Only the first one is filled to the brim and it has a machine sign. Okay. Ah. Yes. Oh, cool. We have to make, this one has eight. That one is five and three. Eight, five, and three. Only the first one's filled to the brim. Right. Hold on. What was that? Oh, we can move them around. Oh, oh, this is like if you had the jugs. Yeah, exactly. And then one so we ha this has to be five and three. I guess we have to... Fill one of them somehow. Put five and three, because these are empty right now. Only this one has it. So if I go here, it's gonna go three. And if I go here, it'll be five. Right. I lose one minute. Nice. Okay, so that wasn't it. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's not full yet. It should look like this if it's full. It's not full. What What do we have to do? How odd. There's. There must be. It must be an odd number thing. How odd keeping such things at home. The first one is filled to the brim. How odd keeping such things at home. Maybe an odd number. What does it say? No. That's... I don't know what the what the goal here is. I know that. I know the game where you have to fill different liquids and different things like this, but so this one now has two. I can put two over here. Now I can put five. And that makes it one here. Yes. If I go like this, it's four there. 
There's eight in there. Yeah, like what's the goal? I don't get it. I don't understand the goal either. Is there something to do? Maybe we're not there yet? Is there another number we can uncover? I mean, when you actually hit that hint before it, it definitely said to figure this out, right? Like the next thing I wanted us to notice was the A and the T. Possibly. So maybe it's something to do in order? I don't see any other numbers. Are there hidden numbers anywhere? Oh, you know what? The clock here says something, probably something to do with the numbers on here, corresponding mm. or okay. AT on the clock. So much for doing it in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder, okay, we take a hint here? Uh, Let's sure. take one hint. Sure, sure, sure. Once you have found the numbers of required doses, you will have to transfer liquid between the barrels to reach this dosage. Ah, so we are missing something. We are missing the required dosage. Which we knew we were missing, but now we know we're nowhere missing. Now we know. Must have hidden a clue somewhere that will help you find him. And okay, we got the AT. And is there a line there on that? Does that mean anything? Yeah, it's not in this picture. Right. Whoa. Dude, look at that's not look at the shadow. That spells something. It's a 17 it, or It does. It's a number, 17. Maybe that's a, is that a 7 you think? A 7 or 17? Cuz maybe we, okay, I have 17. I think it's 17 cuz you can see the shadow on the one side. Let me let me test it out. More yes. Oh, hell yeah. After forcing a little, the panel <laughs> of the long case clock opens and falls to your feet. Good eye, Wes. Uh, so we have 79 and 21. 79, 21. 21. Nice. All right. So 21, that's that part there. This strange machine seems totally discharged. Do you think we can combine it with the matches? Maybe. Should we try? We should. 56. I don't, so there is none. All right, well we can look at the 79 if you want. Let's do it. 79. You open the book next to the machine, it is brand new but covered in dust, and it's got all the seven deadly sins. Oh. Maybe we can combine that with this. With the matches? Well, it was blue, right? Well, let's try it. <laughs> there's a hundred and something. I don't think there's... <laughs> okay, you're right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Published in 1900. Strange machine. Is there another number in there? No, but there is like the same picture that's on these like the skull and cross things is on right. the machine. So I, I figure once we figure this out... That'll tell us. It'll tell us. But to do that we need to combine it with something red. Are, are we sure there's no 56 here? That's a good point. Oh wait! One! Oh. <laughs> on the bottom of this card here <laughs> is the number one. Eagle Eye. I had one here. I definitely saw it. There it is. Flip it. Oh, come on, baby. Dear friends, this afternoon, an unexpected storm. This is a message from uh, Al Tempest. A special storm caused a malfunction in the systems of my time machine, and I am stuck in the past. Therefore, I bid, I hid my machine, I hid my machine here. Uh, it will wait for, oh my God, it will wait for you for years to come. I can't use it without fuel, which only exists in our time. You will need the exact quantity to fill it up. Join me. I borrowed this book in my day, hoping it won't be missed by anyone, your friend. Okay. So you have to put those together. Oh, I see. Oh, we'll need something to pair with this one. I mean, this is the hardest version, right? So yeah. The, you will the, need the, the exact red. quantity to fill it up. And then there's me hopper. Oh, time hopper, probably. I mean, oh, it's only sticking out a little bit. Yeah, only a portion of it sticking out. That makes way more sense. And we have eight here. Yeah. So maybe we put seven in here? But which barrel? Right. I have a feeling there'll be like one in here, three in there, four in there, whatever. Yeah, I think you're... <laughs> I mean, we could try to make seven. Uh, so we got three and three. That's at five. Oh yeah, making seven would be kind of... It probably only makes seven one way. Oh, this is the game. This is exactly the game. Because mm -hmm, you can only make seven on one of them. So yeah, now put the five in there and you get seven. That's the answer. Yeah, nice, Chris. Yeah. Oh. I was so confident. <laughs> what? That's perfect. We lost a minute. <laughs> Hint? I, yeah, we almost have no choice, man. We're dead stuck here. For starters, proce uh, proceed as follows. There will only be one dose left in barrel three. I, I only have one dose in barrel three. Maybe you have to clear it every time? That's what the C's for, maybe? Oh, yeah, then minus three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you did it. Okay. That makes no sense. Add this, it doesn't make any sense, but we might have missed something too. That's Add true. this result to a blue number. Should we go for 71? 71. Sorry folks, we had to brute force through that one for some <laughs> reason. 71. Sorry. 
The time machine is operational. It is now possible to do a few trips to the past. So get rid of 21 and 58. 21 and 58. Gone. Bye bye. Okay, and this is a machine. We only have a half an hour left. Whew. Oh, a year. 1900? Ah, let's try that. that. Yeah, that seems good. You feel you're in a maelstrom. You are thrown into the past. Take card 11. Good job, Chris. I like this game. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, get rid of card number one. Right here. Oh, nice. Uh, you're already here, my friends. Uh, I just finished hiding the machine and with this clock here shows us we're in the past. Oh, okay. Uh, and the book in the long case clock. What a great invention. It will change everything. Let's make the most of it. Explore my house in this year, 1900. My father, Igor, often told me about his grandpa, Victor. I wonder how he used to live. Take card 36. We gotta hurry up here. I got 36. Ooh, okay, so this is the whole other living room. Place this card under the timeline. Living room here. Boom, oh man. We are not gonna finish this in a lot of time, well, let's I just believe. Let's just 18, let's just go for yep. it. Yep, 18, 33, and G. I got G here. 18, book. Do you have 33? Uh, maybe, yep. Cool. That's that one. Okay, an almost full bookcase. Oh, maybe we can combine it with this? Sure. What does that give us, 89, 90, 97? Yeah. Is there a 97, is that, that seems high. Like pretty high. 97, got it. Mm. Uh, books open my mind too often. Okay, place this card at the current time in the living room. Uh, the article pinned to the wall has changed. So the article that's on this wall here has changed to now say, books open my mind, sins too often guide, guide our life. It seems only natural to provide the city with a place dedicated to this leisure activity by handing over the keys of my safe to it. And I have the safe over here, it's a machine. Mm -hmm. So we should crank So that. this goes, place this card on the current time living room. Oh, here. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, hit 33 on the machine. We still have G, by the way. Okay, flip it. Okay, so this is a combination lock. Here we go, this is outside, in the garden. Now we're flying. Okay, so the garden's got quite a few things going on. 26, we got a pocket knife. Nice. Uh, 14, 82, 13, 54. 13, butterfly. We gotta put them more in view here so oh, the camera sorry. can see it. Yep. Uh, 14, 54. 13, 54, 14 here. Yep. A shovel, an old shovel. Yeah. Out of here. And then 54, I guess. A net. Ooh, okay. And we have G. Where was G? Did we flip G? Yeah, that's how we got here. Oh, right. This is G. Okay, so we're in the past right now. We have to hurry up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the butterfly and catch it with the butterfly net. Makes sense. Okay, so here we go, adding up these two, which would give us 95. All right. We get rid of? Uh, 1382? Yep, 1382 nice. here, gone, so. Oh, hold on, read that. Okay, you, you want, I'll read it. Oops, seems that this action in the past has triggered a nuclear disaster in the current time. The oh no! <laughs> the butterfly effect for sure. Professor Tempest disappears right before your eyes as if he was never born. Discard 11. Discard 11. This is 11. Yeah. Oh no, he was never born. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow, we uh, just, that's crazy. Place this in the current uh, living room, current timeline. Right here. Wow, this can, what the heck? All right. Okay, there's some serious ramifications <laughs> for our action. Okay, 55, that's one of those things on there. That's a machine. And 70. Oh, and 70, okay. I got 70 here. Okay. Preserved butterflies in a display case. Okay, so these are our items. We have another machine here. Uh, four connected hourglasses and MT. We never cracked the safe yet. We didn't crack the safe, we don't have the numbers to. Uh, but I do want to try and pry out a butterfly using the knife. Okay. Oh wait, no we can't. All right. We can burn them, 105, doesn't exist. We can't burn them. You can burn a shovel? Can't burn a shovel. Can we connect this to anything? We can't connect that to that. Okay. 
This is crazy. I didn't, so there's multiple outcomes or multiple storylines, I guess? This didn't, it didn't say to discard this, did it? No. 33G we've opened. I don't 18. think we ever found 82. Do you have an 82? I did find 82. Oh, we're missing one. They're missing 54. We're missing one of these cards. 82 was the butterfly net. Then we're missing 54, I think. I don't think. This oh, one's 26. That would make sense. This one's 14. 54. Such a nice lawn. Oh, it'd be a shame if somebody dug it up. I hate to dig it up. Uh, we got a lawn at 68. Yes, sir. I got 69. 64. 68. Such a nice lawn with a hole in it. You get rid of 54 and 14. Nice. We now have 68. But it is a puzzle piece. Uh, do we try putting the knife into it to see what's... <laughs> sure. What's in there? What's that? Stab it. 80, that's 94? 94, I don't, I don't remember seeing anything that high over here. No. 99. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is a red puzzle piece, so we do have to... You know what, let's try the hourglass then. Yeah, good call. 22 minutes left. Uh, 55. Okay, here we go. They're more full than they are in the picture. Yeah. So that's... You probably have to turn it around. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That actually drain, drain them, see what happens. They're going to reveal numbers? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's the safe numbers. Yep. 5019. How cool is that? That is awesome. That is so cool that the physics is used. 5019. We go back to safe, which 33. is. 33. 5019 doesn't work. God. Well, it's a number for something. Uh, oh, do for we go these to, machines. Do we go to the future? Yeah, because I mean, that's got four digits. 5019? Yeah. 1 to 71. <laughs> to the time machine. Mm. You lost a minute. No, that's all that did. Or is it 6102? That's too far. Okay. Okay, let's go back into the other machine here. What was it? Uh, 33. Is the safe? Or 55? 55. 55. Could you turn it upside down? Maybe we're reading it this way now, too. That's right. No, those are clearly. That's clearly 5019. Yeah, very clear. Oh! Solitude is one. Oh, four seasons. Four seasons, four. Oblivion, nothing. Yeah. So four, zero. Four, oh, that's smart. Seven, three, Hold one. Oh, oh, wow. Four, zero. Seven deadly sins. Yeah. Uh, the titled infinity, eight. Yeah. Oh, wow. Solitude. Oh, one. wow. That is cool. You hear an encouraging click, uh, clinking. It is indeed the code that opens a safe. Take the card Y. Why? Got it here. 52 and 40. Got 40 here. We got music notes. Okay. And I got 52. We got a book. Uh, oh. we, we can discard 17, 18, 33, and, and 79. 79. 17, 18, 33. All right, so we have this and this, and we got a book here. Uh, the book says Complex Dia Diophantine Equations, Volume 2, and there's the MT. This book is in the safe. It will probably take you several years to read and understand it. What's uh, 78? Can we cut it up? Can we cut up the book? Let's see. Cannot cut up the book. Cannot cut up the book. This is crazy. Yeah, if it wasn't for the time, I wouldn't be worried. Yeah, exactly. But I'm like... So stressed. Okay, there's gotta be something to do here. Symphonic dances, quartet for the end of times. We haven't turned over yet. Like, did we turn over 33? That's the same. Where's 18? We were told to get rid of it. So it's telling us, like, don't just go to any year, but wait for some type of sound signal. Quartet for the end of times seems timely. Right. 1976, 1965. Lost a minute. Damn it. I feel like... <laughs> oh, we're running out of time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, 55. Where, where was this one? 55? Yeah. 
Okay, we got the numbers. Oh, they don't come down at the same time. One, nine, five, zero, 1950. Is that what you counted. guessed already, though? I did, but I didn't put it in. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Roswell. Take card 24. Stop the clock. Chris, stop the clock. <laughs> okay, I got it. Living room. I will stop the clock. Hector Tempest, winter 1950, discard 55. 55 is gone. We're looking for 69 and 43. And there's a message here. We're going to place this under the timeline. Okay. Uh, 69, 43, you have them. Okay. Uh, well, you read that card out then. Okay. Okay, so there's a message under there. It says, is Hector Tempest an ideal son? His father, the rich banker, retired at the end of 1900 to dedicate himself to his passion, collecting butterflies. A passion passed on to the entire family. Hector, his son, took over with dignity. Place this card under the timeline. Okay. okay. You got the two. I got 43, and it placed this card under the timeline, it says. It just says garden, Hector Tempest. And there's a number here. 12? 12. 12 on the ice. Got it. Nice. I also have one more from the other card. An entirely frozen basin. Um, there's a, there's something in there, and I think we can get it out using the knife. Okay. So 38. Well, we're just zooming along now. Uh, I got no 38. I got no 38. Okay, I have an idea. Cause, um, Wait, the match. <gasps> yes! Burn that. Uh, 47. Yes! Oh, wait, no, the match is red. That wouldn't work. 82? 82, just mix them with the butterflies, <laughs> let's try it out. All right, let's, let's play some music on the piano with 69. Yes. Okay. That'll help us with that. Okay, go. Uh, the piano of Professor's forefather. So it's a machine. Oh, right. 69. Oh. <laughs> I need more music. Play it again. It's this, it's quartet for the end of times. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Pause it. <laughs> now we now we have music. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Turn that music off. Okay. Um, so it's this one. A quartet for the end of times. What does that do? Um, oh wait, the metronome. One, nine, seven, four. Whoa. Or six. One, nine, seven, four. Holy crap, dude. Whoa. Take card 74. Pause it. <laughs> I got card 74. Living room, Igor Tempest, autumn 1974, discard 40 and 69. 40, 69, gone. Okay, so we have 46, 30, and X. Place this card under the timeline, living room. 46, 30, and X, I got X. I got uh, 46, I got 30. All right, nice. You find a few pencils and erasers on the table. Pencils and erasers, this is a puzzle. Also, we didn't do this. True. You only managed to scrape service while trying to extract it. We never found that. No. We gotta go back and get that. Yep. Damn it. Uh, okay, so, uh, let's try 46. Garden. I want a garden, I wanna, I wanna stay on my own and I will remain alone until the end, go away. Number nine. Number nine. Something's not right. We should have been, blah, 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 oh, sorry. Read it aloud. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, Igor Tempest, who should have been Archimedes' father, or whatever that name is, leads the life of a bitter loner. He took refuge on this roof where it's impossible to reach him. It doesn't say anything. Okay. So he's on the roof. That's yeah. fine. It's a garden. We got an acorn. Gleaning acorn in autumn, what would be more natural? Oh, yeah. This is a Tempest family tree. Victor, Hector, Igor, no future. Alcibiades' name no longer appears on this document. It's as if ex existence has been entirely erased from this reality. Which we erased a long time ago. Yeah. We gotta go back in time and plant the acorn. Nine and 68. 77? 77. Oh, wow. Dude, you're killing it now. Place this card under the timeline. Nine's gone. 43 and 68 are also gone. Uh, 19 and 28. Oh, sneaky little 28 in there. 
This is an oak with a thick trunk and a few dead branches. Okay. This one here says, hidden in a wooden box, you find the diary of Igor he used to keep when he was a child. I don't like this tree. When I am all grown up, I will cut it down. I don't like butterflies either. They should all be kept in a display case. We all do that in the family. I love Sophie, but she loves nature and butterflies. She doesn't want to marry me anymore. This guy's totally disjointed. Cool. Um, burn down the tree. Can you burn down the tree? We can try. No, we can't oh. burn down the tree. Maybe we can cut the tree. 26 and 19. It's uh, 45. 40, 45. <laughs> 45, get rid of 26. Knife goes away. Nice. You put a heart into the tree. It's a good start, but what needs to be written inside the heart to help Igor? I see. We gotta find something to write inside. All right, what else did we discover? An oak tree with a, uh, the oak tree can be combined. We combined that with a knife just now, didn't we? You gotta write something in there with a pencil? Yes. Yes, 49. 49 does not exist. We need to write something on that tree. I feel like it, yeah. Probably the two letters. Hers is Sophie, with S. Right, because you do the you do I plus S. Right, plus e right. right. What's his name? Igor. S and I. Oh! Oh, 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 that's pretty cool. That is really cool. Oh, mother trucker. Ah. Okay, S and I. This, which also looks like the numbers of fifty-one. That is fifty-one. Oh my goodness, this is really smart, man. Oh, fifty-one doesn't exist. Oh. We go forward oh. in time. Oh, there's a plus sign. Oh, S plus? Plus, 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 plus sign. There's six? Six. Oh, six. 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 Yes. Okay, oh, get rid of 28, okay. 45, 46. Get rid of X. Get rid of I. Get rid of S. All right, now we need 23 and 10. Place ten. this card under the timeline. You can cut down your tree now. Oh. <gasps> and you need 23 as well? Yep. My dad told me I shouldn't talk to strangers. That's a machine. That's a machine, but first we should get the 29. First we should, yeah, 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 let's cut down the tree. 29. 29. Get rid of 19. Get rid of 19, gone. Boom. After a lot of effort, you realize 20, cutting down the tree. 29 plus 35. 29 plus 35? Yeah, 64? Yeah, oh wow, nice. We got a fire. <laughs> All right, get rid of 29 and 35. Yes. Wait, we got a, we got a fire? Yep. Uh, fire plus ice. Oh, buddy. That's a uh, 76. 76? No. No. No, no, no. Oh, okay. What about the book? No, that's 100 and something. Uh, where's that little boy again? The machine? Yeah, let's do the machine. 23. Oh, we gotta press play the... Oh, God. You are Victor, aren't you? You are Alcibiades, aren't you? You are Hector, aren't you? You are Eager, aren't you? Okay, stop it off, stop it off, stop it off. It's just the uh, family tree thing. My right? dad told me I shouldn't talk to strangers. So where's the family tree gone? We threw it away. Hector H is the only one. It mentions Hector H. That's the only one they don't. You don't show up anywhere. This is clearly a stranger. So what's the thing here? Hector was on there, and Hector doesn't show up anywhere else. You're Victor. You're Hector. <laughs> Countdown is finished. Damn it! We can continue the adventure. Thank you. I think it's the H. Well, I just pressed it. Oh. And it was wrong. My dad told me I shouldn't talk to strangers, so it has to be somebody that's not on the family tree. That's what I mean, that's why I said Hector. He's not on there. Oh, no, it, it would be Alcibiades. Oh, he's gone now. He's gone now. How come you know my name? Do you know my grandfather? Yeah. Oh, that's Yeah, right. his grandfather's yeah. Hector. <laughs> you just finished my solar energy flashlight, but now I'm a little bored. Obviously someone needs an intellectual stimulant. 23. 40, 35. Yep, 35. Nope. What? I remember 35. What is that? No, it's a flashlight, a solar powered flashlight. So 23, maybe plus this is 75? Yep. Aha! In the living room. Here we go. Okay, what's going Get on? Get rid of 23, 52, and Y. I have finally found the solution to the equation. One problem, though, the electromagnetic risks that create the anomalies will be located as far in the past as in the future. So 2000 something is where we gotta go. As far in the past as the future. So it's so 50 years 2000? to 2000, yeah. Uh, okay. What the hell, as far in the past? As in the future. So if this oh. is- Oh. Oh, we're halfway. We are halfway 
between 1900 and where we want to go. Our current timeline is halfway. Okay. So 74 plus 74. 148. We are doing math wrong. We are 19. 2048. It is 2048. Good thing we're not messing up. Okay. It's not, okay. All right. Wait, hold on. Like 2023? Oh. Try 2023. But you have to do math and add it up and get this. Don't be in such a hurry to return to your time. So this is our time. So now, Wait, if this now is double a, that. So oh, 123. 123, that would be 2146. 2146. Oh, Holy Jesus. Take card 83, here we go. Oh. Fallout shelter. B. B and 37. Uh -huh. Martin Tempest. The time travel blog, an incident deriving from a butterfly in 1900 seems to be cause of nuclear holocaust. really should have started with an easier one. Yep. I'm still, <laughs> yep. I'm still in a temporal pocket that will allow me to correct this. I have seen objects in the past to help me the limits that risk of the time paradox. I have also sent the time hopper and its usual manual, which should help in resolving the cause of all this. I intend to rectify the time curve and restore my family's reputation. Okay. Time hopper was behind so, that. This is just information. So this is it, I think. This is the time hopper. Uh, it's in the fireplace. Among the many documents, you find the plans of the house dating back to 1900. This is where Victor Tempest had the fireplace built. So we take this, three, and what do we add? It's 37. You're right on it. Uh, 67. And it's a butterfly. And place this card in the current time in the living room. And we need 20. We need to get rid of uh, 37. 37, yeah. 30 and 37. 30, 37. Right. And that gives us a butterfly. Time hopper, and it got a cool little, this guy. Yep. Adds to something. Or minus. 86 minus 70. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> it's a time thing. Uh, all is back to normal. You have enough fuel for one last trip. The time has come to return to your starting point and meet with a professor. Place this card in the living room. Time spot. The weather's beautiful in France. We can ditch 20, 70, 86, and 95, which I don't even know what that is. It leaves us with one. Um, Wait, go back to 2023? Oh, time has come to return to your starting point. Yeah, 2023. <laughs> like, do they mean our starting point or the starting point of the game? Yeah. Come on, guys. Quit tricking me. The machine starts smoking, you're back to the current time, but impossible to travel any further. Take card 99. Ah, place this card in the living room. There he goes, he's chilling. You made it, my friends. The world is saved. You must destroy the machine, for it is too dangerous. This task falls to you because you have brought about the butterfly effect. What are these? Holy crap, man. Oh. Oh, these are penalties. Penalties, yeah. Well, we pressed the penalty button plenty of times. <laughs> Oh my God, dude. So big fan. According to the time, wow. an hour 18, but obviously I uh, probably like an hour and a half realistically, yeah. which isn't too bad for the first time we've ever played one of these. Yeah. I do feel like uh, we should have warmed up and had like an easier one. But now that we're in deep, I, I say we keep going with the hardest ones. Oh yeah. Uh, folks, I gotta go, man. I have to, we have the podcast. I gotta edit this thing. Um, leave a like if you did enjoy this. And if you do want to see more of this series, I'm happy to bring you another one. Uh, next time Wes comes by, I've got a ton of these games. So let me know in the comments if this is something you want to see. And don't forget to check out Wes. Please. All right, guys. <laughs> see ya. Woo! That was fun. That was, I love that, man. Yeah, so much fun.